We are now just a few days away from President Trump visiting Wildwood, New Jersey. Thousands of visitors are expected to give the shore town an economic boost, but the crowds also create some challenges. Eyewitness News reporter Clee Bryan takes a look. It's the calm before the storm at the Wildwoods Convention Center. But next Tuesday, tens of thousands of people are expected to mob the city when President Donald Trump comes to town for a campaign rally. Friday, Wildwood police announced a few new security details about prohibited items at the rally and said several blocks will be shut down on the day of the event. The road closure area will extend from the boardwalk west to Atlantic Avenue and then north to south from Baker Avenue down to Rio Grande. That puts some businesses like the Days Inn across the street from the convention center in a difficult situation. Unfortunately, that side is kind of a nightmare. Luckily, it looks like our guests will be able to use our parking lot when they come. Unfortunately, for that window when the president's here, they won't be able to uh, move their car. School is canceled Tuesday in Wildwood, and traffic lights will return from blinking to tourism season patterns. Police are telling locals to expect delays, and getting into town from Route 47 will have issues. Just this week, construction began on a portion of the popular shore travel route. It will force detours through more populated parts of Middle Township, possibly snarling traffic there, too. Local officials asked the Department of Transportation to delay the project, but the answer was no. First issue I raised was the Trump visit. I said, is there any way you could push this back for a week, or at least beyond next Tuesday? Um, they were reluctant to do so. Actually, they didn't want to do it. They said it were mobilizing and it would push the project back another week, which would push it closer to the 4th of July. Officials in Wyoming would say many of the logistics for the event are still being worked out between the police department and the Secret Service, and they will try to give updates in the days to come. In Wildwood, Cleve Bryan, CBS 3, Eyewitness News. And for more on the presidential visit to Wildwood, including a list of items not allowed inside the convention center, head to CBSPhilly.com. Jess?